We as humans are able to keep and store long-term memories for a matter of days to as long as many decades. But what other animals have this cognitive ability to store information long-term? This long-term memory is an essential aspect of all types of learning, as it allows one to be able to encode, store, and retrieve the information that is learned. It allows creatures to interact with groups in social settings, know where to forage and retrieve food, know what areas to avoid as they could potentially be dangerous, and many other important everyday functions as it allows beings to use experiences from their past to face the present and future. Two non-primate animals who have strong long-term memory capabilities are bottlenose dolphins and sea lions. These two animals have extremely advanced long-term memory abilities, almost as strong as humans. First, we will examine the long-term memory of bottlenose dolphins. These animals are known for having complex cognitive abilities as they are very social animals. They differ though in gender, as females stay within a pod and males typically leave at one to three years of age and sometimes form bachelor pods of two to three individuals who help each other in gaining access to females for reproduction and defending females from other groups of males. So why is memory so important? Long-term social recognition is a crucial skill that is necessary for bottlenose dolphins in order to avoid certain individuals, help others, maintain social hierarchies, and to avoid inbreeding. In a study done in 2013 titled Decades-Long Social Memory in Bottlenose Dolphins, researchers are seeking to examine for how long this long-term memory lasts for bottlenose dolphins in terms of recognition of kin. The researchers in the article hypothesized that complex social systems might lead to better social memory. The subjects involved were bottlenose dolphins who reached an age from 4 months to 47 years old, both male and female. The age classes were defined as calves, who are under 1 year old, juveniles, who are 1 to 6 years old, and adults, who are over 6 years old. In the study, the dolphins were group housed for as little as three months to as much as 18 and a half years before being relocated and housed at different facilities for a range from six months to as much as 20 and a half years before they were presented with their first group members again. Researchers then played vocalizations which were used to assess response differences to either familiar or unfamiliar calls. As they were playing the calls, the researchers assessed the reactions of the dolphins. Researchers found that dolphins did show higher response scores to familiar whistles versus unfamiliar whistles. And even more significantly, there was also no effect on the time the dolphins were separated for even after 15 plus years, they were still able to recognize the whistles. The results support the initial hypothesis that stated that complex social systems might lead to better social memory. It was found that sex and the status of one's kin did not affect recognition, which was to be expected as both males and females are parts of socially complex groups and both kin and non-kin are important to remember. The signature whistles were stable for more than 12 years for a dolphin. This makes this system potentially the longest lasting recognition system in nature. Overall, this study shows the possibility of social memories that could be lifelong for these bottlenose dolphins. Similarly to these bottlenose dolphins, sea lions are able to recall information from long-term memory easily. These creatures rely on their long-term memory for the identification of individuals as well as breeding and feeding locations. In a study completed in 2002 titled Long-Term Memory for Concepts in a California Sea Lion, an adult sea lion who has experience in performing certain discrimination tasks was examined as researchers evaluated her long-term memory from previously learned concepts. The sea lion was tested again one year after learning. In the original experiment, the adult sea lion named Rio was able to demonstrate classification of letter and number stimulus classes in two different procedures, the two-choice simple discrimination repeated reversal and a matching to sample procedure. During this simple discrimination experiment, Rio had one or two daily sessions with 
40 to 100 two alternative forced choice trials where she would put her chin on an apparatus and would then be shown stimuli. She waited at the station until she was signaled to make a response, which she did by moving to touch one of the stimuli with her nose. If she was correct, she would be rewarded with a fish. Rio was then presented with the same stimuli in conditional discrimination trials. The goal of this was to determine if Rio could apply the knowledge she had learned about class membership problems that were presented in a matching to sample procedure. Before the memory test, she was exposed to the 20 stimuli in the two classification tasks in October 1999, which is when her performance in the procedures was perfect. Her memory tests were conducted in October 2000, which was 361 days after her last exposure to the two procedures. At this time, the 20 stimuli were reintroduced to, into the procedure. This was then immediately followed by the simple discrimination reversal procedure. The results of this experiment showed that nearly a year after her first performance and no exposure to the experiment in between, Rio did perform comparably perfect as she did not make any errors on the 40 problems presented in her memory tests and was much better than expected by chance. Rio's near-perfect score proves the point that she was able to apply the associative class concept that she had developed the first time around. These results prove that sea lions are able to remember equivalence classes for an extended period of time, which highlights their complex cognitive abilities. It is not just a simple image that is being memorized, but concepts that require decision making and putting certain stimuli into categories. So what does this all mean? All in all, it is clear that long-term memory is an ability that not only humans and non-human primates possess. Furthermore, it can be argued through these empirical articles that bottlenose dolphins and sea lions both have extremely advanced long-term memory abilities. Both dolphins and sea lions were presented with the opportunity to react to incorrect stimuli but perform better than chance. Sea lions should, though, be further examined for their long-term memory in a more naturalistic setting, performing tasks they would in the wild to assess what exactly their long-term memory is needed for. These findings give opportunity to dive deeper into the reasoning behind different animals and their long-term memory abilities as it is clear that they potentially possess more than once thought.